Welcome, Get Better Basketball community. I'm Coach DeMarco, and this is Focus. In today's episode, I'm going to take you through one of Georgia Tech's favorite plays that I call Flashback Door. Trust me, you're not going to want to miss this episode. But before we jump into it, make sure you hit that like button down below, turn on your notifications, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more great content each and every week. Now get ready, because it's time to focus on another great play. As we focus in on another great backdoor play, I want to hone in on why positioning is so important. You're going to see a similar setup in this backdoor play to the one that Liberty University uses in their backdoor sets. What I mean by that is you're going to have the point guard, you're going to have a post who comes rising up to the top, and I'll show you this in comparison to what Liberty does. You're going to have a player in the corner, and then you're going to have the two-player side, which is where the backdoor cut is going to come from. This is done very intentionally because they're taking the post up to the top to clear out an opportunity for any help from the paint. They're going to take the first player and cut them through to also clear out this side, and then the backdoor cut is going to happen immediately after. So the placement of players and the timing is critical in these types of sets. And I'll get into also this corner player because by putting him there, if his player does help, when the back door is caught on the baseline, it can be a kick out for a three-point opportunity. Or in this case, the first cut is going to come through and he is going to be the kick out player for the three-point opportunity. Before we take a look at that, I want to compare this to Liberty's backdoor set because, as I said, the two are very similar. So let's take a look at Liberty because I want to point out the positioning and the timing of their backdoor plays. The first thing I want to mention is that their set does start a little bit different than Georgia Tech, but the positioning and timing is going to be the same. I want to point out the post who is climbing up here towards the top of the key. His defender is very tight to him because it almost looks like it could be a point series action out of the Princeton series, or maybe a horns type of set, even though there's not another elbow player here where this offensive player could catch at the elbow. So this defender doesn't want to make it easy for him, which is why this is such a well-designed play and something we're going to see in Georgia Tech set as well with this post climbing up to the top. The next thing I wanna look at is we have our two player side where we know the first player is gonna cut through as I mentioned with the Georgia Tech set. And then we have our one player side over here. So we're gonna get that first cut through, we're gonna get a step up in the second cut through and look at the timing, gonna hit this player, well executed backdoor play by Liberty. So now let's come back to Georgia Tech and look at their positioning and their timing. Again, you're gonna notice this post player climb up to the top, which is gonna bring his defender up with him. And you're gonna notice the defender is actually gonna deny a little bit harder than the defender in the Liberty game, which is actually a good thing because it's gonna really occupy this player who is on defense. And I have to say that you're gonna see the similarities as I keep mentioning. And that's because it's a great set. And when you have a great set, you're going to see teams use it or more than one team use it. So don't be surprised if you see this run by other teams in the NCAA tournament. And I know I'll be looking for it. So the next thing to point out is the sides. We have our two-player side. You can see this player here looks very anxious to make his cut through. And then we have our one-player side over here. Almost looks like they're trying to set some type of ball screen over here, uh, Georgia Tech, which again is occupying these defenders. And now we're gonna see that first cut through. All right, a little bit different. I thought the Liberty player cut through a little bit harder because this player is still kind of looking like what's gonna happen next. So with a harder cut, I think actually this would have been a backdoor layup, but we're gonna see the second cut go through. And this defender, as I mentioned, was able to stay, again, because I don't know that this cut was made hard enough through the paint. But what it is gonna open up is 
This player is actually going to rise up, and this is his defender. And this player is going to back out to the three-point line. So it's actually going to open up a kick out. I wish this player had actually stayed because it could have been a kick out and one more for an open three-pointer. But he cuts through the paint, so it's going to be a catch, and it's going to be a, an opportunity for a potential three. They end up not taking that opportunity. They reverse it out, another ball screen, a dump inside, and then this player is going to work really hard and end up getting fouled. So I'm going to play this through one more time at full speed. Before I show you the second time they run it later in the game, where this player ends up getting a backdoor layup out of it, we see the nice cut, good possession by Georgia Tech here. They're going to get the ball into the corner and then inside and then get fouled against a tough Florida State team who they beat in the ACC championship. So this is the next time they run this play with about five minutes to go in the game and a two-point lead. And I again want to point out the positioning. We're going to have the post player climb up to the top. We have our two-player side and we have our one-player side on the other part of the floor. At this point, Florida State is putting a little bit more pressure on the ball. They're going to deny this hard. They're going to really force the ball over here, which makes it a tougher pass. We got more of a deny here, a better cut through the paint this time, and you're going to see so a harder cut through, and it makes this player turn his head, which is going to make a difference from the first time they ran it. And this time, this player is going to deny a little bit harder. Great shooter for Georgia Tech right here. Worried about him getting a dribble handoff, as they like to do. So this defender denies, and he's going to beat this defender clear. He, he almost falls down. The problem was that this angle is not great because this player got forced over too far. But no worries. He beats him so bad, he's just going to zip it in there with one hand, and they're going to get an open layup out of it. As we watch this play through one more time, think about the positioning and the timing in this backdoor set. This is a great play that you can use with your team. I have to be honest in saying that I love backdoor sets, especially the one that is used by Liberty and Georgia Tech. As I've said many times, it is a very similar play in the way they position their players and the timing of the play. If you like this play, make sure you hit that like button down below, turn on your notifications, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more great videos every single week. Leave me a comment down below to let me know how this worked for your team, or if you happen to see this play used by another team during March Madness, and I suspect that's going to happen. As always, get better every day. If you don't have a brand new Dr. Dish state-of-the-art shooting machine, then you're missing out on a great opportunity to make your team the best they can be. Mention the Get Better Basketball Chat or hashtag GBetBBChat for up to $300 off select Dr. Dish shooting machines. Right now, for a limited time, during March Madness, they're also accepting and providing up to $2,000 off of trade-ins. You heard that right, up to $2,000 off trade-ins for other models, or it could be an older Dr. Dish, but they also select models from their competitors. Don't miss out on this great opportunity.